Another year, another Call of Duty. While Infinite Warfare is a sound game mechanically, there are definitely a lot of issues that are keeping it from being more widely accepted by the gaming community. So, in hopes that someone listens to these critiques and can help improve the series, here are five things that are wrong with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Critique number one, it's the same Call of Duty. Call of Duty has been around for a long time, and it's been about 13 years since the first COD released back on the PC. And since then, we've had at least one game released per year from the franchise. And each year, it's frustrating to see that every new game uses the exact same mechanics from the last Call of Duty. And you know what? I'm getting very bored of this franchise and its unwillingness to try new things. Sure, you could argue that Call of Duty didn't actually become the way it is until about 2007 when Modern Warfare 1 released, but even if that's the case, that's nearly a decade of the exact same killstreaks, regenerating health, and swearing 11-year-olds. Perhaps the creators of Call of Duty realized the change did need to be made, and unfortunately, when they changed things, they changed the wrong things. People like to complain about things. A lot. And that just seems to be a fact of life. So what I'm saying is that it doesn't really matter what Call of Duty decides to do with itself, because there will still be people out there who are going to complain about it. However, instead of complaining, I'm going to try and intellectually critique the game. It's basically the same thing, but it sounds a little bit smarter. So the biggest critique that I have for the series is that it seems to refuse to branch out, and it only does branch out when it's absolutely necessary. Just off the top of my head, I have a few ideas that I think Call of Duty could change or add that would greatly benefit the series. We could have more unique multiplayer game modes, a new sort of co-op campaign to complement the zombies mode, you could have branching campaign paths sort of like they did in Black Ops 2, you could add realistic weapon damage and allow you to damage buildings, etc, etc. Unfortunately, it seems like very little change actually occurred in this new game apart from the change in scenery, being in space and everything, and I think that's what most people are having the biggest problem with. I understand space is cool, and a lot of people like to play space games. However, I don't think the COD audience is really all that into the cosmos. Since about Black Ops 2, Call of Duty has been moving closer and closer to the futuristic space setting, and they finally jumped the shark and put everyone in spaceships. That's fine, do what you want with your series, but when there are already plenty of other sci-fi space shooters out there like Halo, Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, Titanfall 2, and Evolve, you begin to realize that maybe Call of Duty in space wasn't actually that much of a bold or wanted design choice. And while we're on the topic of space, the setting does not do the franchise justice. Leading to my next point, I really feel like the next Call of Duty game should get back on the ground and out of the stars. Call of Duty started as a boots on the ground arcade shooter, and it took place during various conflicts in the 20th century. Obviously, like I just said, things need to change to stay relevant, but you also need to stay true to who you are and never forget your core identity. Besides just being good life advice, this is true for most anything in the entertainment industry. As Call of Duty has been so busy trying to find its new setting, I think it's forgotten a bit of what made it popular in the first place. Look at what Battlefield 1 did. The developers realized they'd gone far enough ahead in time, so they went all the way back to World War 1. And guess what? People are loving the game. Now, I'm not saying that COD should copy Battlefield 1, because obviously it needs to be its own thing, but what I am saying is that the series needs to work on and grow where it's strongest. Don't attempt to be something you're not. Let Halo be Halo, let COD be COD. But, not to worry folks, if you're not a fan of Infinite Warfare, you can always just skip it and buy Modern Warfare 4 Remastered. Wait, what's that? You can't buy it separately? You have to buy it with Infinite Warfare? Oh, that's just dirty. Even though Modern Warfare 1 is only the sixth best-selling game in the series, the honor of number one goes to Black Ops 1, by the way, most people tend to remember Modern Warfare 1 rather fondly, and they've been asking for a very long time for a remastered version for modern consoles. Smelling money, the Call of Duty developers happily obliged, and the only catch is you have to purchase Infinite Warfare in order to actually play Modern Warfare 1. The developers must have known that this new COD wouldn't sell well, so they just stuck it with a game that people actually wanted in order to boost their sales. This is confusing, because if you knew that people wouldn't want to buy your game, why did you make it in the first place? Perhaps it was a corporate decision to put the game in space, but regardless, what's done is done, and hopefully at some point, Modern Warfare 1 will become a separate purchase. And for my final point, I just wanted to make a public announcement to all of you COD fans out there. It's just a game, everyone, so please stop flipping out over a change in scenery. Sure, I know as well as anyone that COD isn't a perfect game, 
I personally had my fill of the series after Black Ops 2, but that doesn't mean you should be hating on a game that developers have spent years of their lives making. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean you have to be rude about it, right? You don't need to go on forums and cuss out the developers and everyone else who's a fan of it, especially because in this beautiful country known as America, we're able to be ourselves and freely express our opinions and viewpoints. Sure, just because you believe something doesn't mean that it's right, but if you disagree, do it kindly and professionally, not in a way that involves hurting another person. So with that out of the way, thank you everyone for watching and have a wonderful day. Here's to hoping that in the next Call of Duty, we find it drastically improved and back on top. Thank you.